Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll show you how to quickly turn off automatic email forwarding in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. If you have an automatic email forwarding rule set up for your email account, it can be quickly turned off from the settings section of Gmail. To do this, I'll move my mouse to the top right of the Gmail inbox. You'll see there are a number of icons shown here. But the one I'm interested in is the cog or gear icon for the settings section. Let's click on that. Panel then opens that shows some of the more common settings changes you can make in Gmail. But we need to go into the details settings of Gmail. So I'm going to click on the see all settings button at the top of the panel. A new window then opens, showing a number of heading tabs. The one we're interested in is the forwarding and pop IMAP tab. At the top of this tab is the forwarding section. You'll see there's currently a forwarding rule switched on. You can choose to turn this off either temporarily or permanently. If you're confident you won't need to forward emails from your Gmail account to this email address in the future, then it's best to delete it completely so it can't be used again by mistake. To permanently stop email forwarding to that address, click on the first drop down in the forwarding row, and you'll see at the bottom of this list there's an option to remove an email address that has previously been verified. If I click on that email address, a pop-up box appears that asks you to confirm you want to remove the email address. Click on the large blue OK button to approve that. And Gmail confirms that the email address has now been removed and can no longer be forwarded to. If you think you might want to use a forwarding rule in the future that you've currently got set up, then you can just label the existing forwarding rule to stop emails being sent. You can do this by simply clicking on the Disable Forwarding button in this section. All email forwarding will then be stopped immediately, but you can restart it again at any time just by choosing the Forward Incoming Mail option below. Once you're happy with your forwarding choices, don't forget to scroll down to the bottom of this page and choose the Save Changes button to confirm them. We are then returned to the inbox, and you'll see that the forwarding notice that was shown at the top of the page has now been removed because we've disabled all email forwarding. I hope you found this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.